it is the charming giraffe and today I just wanted to show you a few something I've been doing I don't know how to describe it um first of all we're gonna peel off this drip edge here here's some from other parts of the table that I couldn't get in frame that I already peeled off this was actually really funny and uh, the middle's cut out of it uh, I think it had dried around the edges but it hadn't dried in the middle and I had taken like something and like try to wipe it up but this is already dry and it's just stayed there so I peeled it off and I set that aside then this one was nearby same thing but it just had like a little crack in it and then this one was really pretty that was from a tree ring pour we had done a while back I think yeah that's just laying on top of it and it's got this weird little tail I don't know if I'll use that or not but whenever I do a pour and it gets on here I this is a just a tablecloth I get it at the Dollar Tree for literally a buck, so I'm not worried if it gets dirty or whatever. Um, but I just peel them off piece by piece. Sometimes I can get good chunks of them, sometimes I can't. Um, I try to use these as long as possible just because I don't want to change them out every day. That would get a little expensive even at a dollar a piece. That one's really cool shaped. So I've been collecting all these like bits and pieces, and I'll keep going here as I talk. Um, but I was like, what in the world am I going to do with all of this? Because it's really not anything I feel like I could use in a piece of jewelry or anything. Um, oh, it's being a little stubborn, but it's really pretty colors. There we go. So cool. Look at all those really pretty colors in there. Shiny. And so I was like, what can I do with them? And then I think in a few videos you actually saw where there were some canvases that were damaged. Here's a bunch here. And these are literally just ones I've peeled off over time. Somehow that got stuck on there. Uh, I'll just set these all to the side. Let's see if I can get to the damaged part of the canvas. So this one came and like literally just like another like canvas had poked it or something I didn't do it it was like this when it arrived to me it was in a bundle of like 10 or more so I didn't feel like it was necessary ne necessarily necessary <laughs> um to send it back I was disappointed I'm not gonna lie um, <laughs> but so I was thinking I could use this and like make a really cool like abstract like turning this trash into a really cool piece here. These have uh, all the metallics. This was from one that I used, the uh, pearlescent, um, no, metallics from Master's Touch. I think that's all that was in that video or in that pink piece. Uh, it's just some runoff, literally just like this, like just like essentially garbage. Um, <laughs> you use it until you feel like it's time to get a new one and then you just throw it away. So instead of throwing it away, I'm peeling it off and making making more art out of it. I won't be able to probably do this right now with you, but I wanted to show you. Uh, I thought this would be a really cool piece. You could probably like, put it on top and then like showcase something. And who knows, I might get little trinkets or something. Um, actually, here I'll show you a, a piece. I wasn't planning on showing you this. Uh, but I will because it's kind of falls in line with it. So this was one of from my very first area that I would do my acrylic pour paintings in. I want to say it was a box and it was actually pretty much this exact size and I shoved this piece of canvas down in it. Um, actually this canvas was my very first acrylic pour painting. This um, ugly muddy yellow color here. Uh, I watered down my paints too much and they all blended together. This was way before YouTube videos or anything. This was literally binge watching mixed media girl all night one night. The next morning I woke up like, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I had paint. I, I painted before mixed media girl or before coming into this um, artwork. Um, and so I was like, I got my paints and I mixed them up. I think I was just using glue maybe at the time. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I went outside and I poured. I thought it was going to be a masterpiece. Not so much. <laughs> Um, but then I shoved it into the bottom of a, cause I didn't really think about pouring over it or whatnot. 
So I shoved it into the bottom of a box that I was using. I had a, a, a stand that I would put my new canvases on, do my new paintings on, and let it drip. So you can see all the different colors. And actually, if you go into my YouTube, or not YouTube, if you go into my Instagram, you can probably find pieces. And I don't know exactly if I'm in frame or not. Here, let me come around to you. You can probably see um, paintings that are these colors and definitely this color. These were my favorite. Uh, but then as things just like fell in it, I couldn't really get them out easily. So I have like popsicle sticks. There's push pins with the with the hurdy part, <laughs> the the pen part still in it. And this literally just hangs on my wall in the studio. Here, I'll show you. I think I have it going this direction. Okay, so I hung it back up and I'll show you. Let's see if I can move the camera easily. There's the giraffe. That seems like it's really a pie. It's really not <laughs> that high up. So it just hangs there. I put it to where the um, the push pin parts are near the top so that no one gets hurt just walking by or whatnot. But yeah, it's my first drip painting, I guess. I don't really know what you would call it, but similar to what we're talking about here today. So uh kind of fit in perfectly un unintentionally so yeah just like where the things drip off we peel them off and put them on a canvas similar to that where we just let it drip right onto the canvas i don't really know why i like it so much but i do so it will stay here probably forever and ever and ever but yeah i liked this piece because it has the whole so i may be able to even get some little trinkets or something to showcase or if i find a, a piece that i really like i can Put it around it to make it like a picture frame on it yeah these are just ones uh i've peeled off over time i haven't actually changed this um tablecloth in quite some time so i just plan to continue to pull the pieces off as i find ones that i like and then once i get that painting done or once it's in such bad condition that i don't want to paint on it anymore or that i don't want it to drip on it anymore then I will uh, replace it. So, just kind of cool. Trash into art um, here. I just want to share that with you. Uh, if you have any ideas for me, please leave them in the comments. I do appreciate it. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And of course, do what makes you happy.